Chapter 10 Introduction to Cascading Style Sheets Applying CSS CSS can be applied to HTML in following three ways. Inline CSS, Internal CSS, External CSS. Inline CSS This is the quickest and simplest way to apply CSS on any HTML tag. This method is suitable when a brief style needs to be applied on selective tags. To apply inline CSS on any HTML tag, its style attribute is used. For example, p style is equal to color colon hash 00 ff 00 in quotation marks. I am displayed in green color slash p. Notice that property color is separated from its value hash 00 ff 00 by a colon. More than one styles can also be applied which should be separated by semicolon. For example, p style is equal to color colon hash 00 ff 00 semicolon font family colon Arial in double quotes. I am displayed in green color and Arial slash p. Internal CSS. This CSS is defined using style tag. This method is suitable to cascade a consistent formatting to entire web page. Selector curved brackets, property colon value, brackets closed. Selector could be the name, ID or class of the tag whose formatting needs to be done. For example, HTML, head, style P curved brackets, Color colon hash 00 ff 00 semicolon font family colon arial semicolon curved brackets closed slash style slash head body p I am displayed in green color and arial slash p slash body slash html Here the selector is p tag this style will be applied to all the appearances of p tag in HTML document. What if you need to apply CSS to select tags only? This can be done by tag ID and class attributes. Let's have a look at the example below which uses the ID attribute of the tags to apply internal CSS. HTML, head, style, hash IDL, curved brackets, color, colon, hash, 00, ff, 00, semicolon, Font family Arial semicolon curved brackets close slash style slash head body H1 ID is equal to IDL in quotation marks. I am displayed in green color and Arial slash H1. P I am plain text slash P. P ID is equal to IDL in quotation marks. I am displayed in green color and Arial slash P slash body slash HTML. Did you notice the logical relationship between the value of ID attribute and the selector of the style sheet? The tag you need to apply the CSS to should be given some ID and the same ID is used as selector in the CSS preceded by a hash sign. Here CSS will be applied on H1 tag and the second P tag only. If instead of using ID, you intend to use class attribute for desired tags, then all you have to do is to use dot in place of hash. For example, HTML head style dot IDL curved brackets color colon hash 00 ff 00 semicolon font family Arial semicolon curved brackets closed slash style slash head body H1 class is equal to IDL quotation marks. I'm displayed in green color and Arial slash H1. P, I am plain text slash P. P class is equal to IDL quotation marks. I am displayed in green color and Arial slash P slash body slash HTML. External CSS. As the name suggests, external CSS is a separate file saved with extension .css that contains all the CSS definitions. This file can be linked with any HTML document as required. 
link tag is used to link the external CSS file with HTML document. Link tag has following attributes whose value needs to be set. REL, it takes the value style sheet that informs the browser that a style sheet needs to be linked. href, it takes the name or URL of the style sheet file to be linked. Type, it takes the MIME type of style sheet document, which is a text file of extension CSS. For example, the CSS file named styles.css contains following style definition dot IDL code brackets, color hash 00 ff 00 semicolon, font family colon, Arial semicolon curved brackets close. Let us see how mystyles.css is linked with following HTML document. HTML head link rel is equal to style sheet in quotation marks. href is style.css. Type is equal to text slash CSS in quotation marks. Slash head body. H1 class is equal to IDL in quotation marks. I am displayed in green color and Arial slash H1. P I am plain text slash P. P class is equal to IDL in quotation marks. I am displayed in green color and Arial slash P slash body slash HTML. Now that we have seen various ways to apply style sheets on HTML tags, let's learn about the basic styling properties available in CSS. Text formatting. Text formatting includes font settings, letters and word spacing, text alignment, text decoration and text transformation. Following are the basic text formatting properties. Property values. Example. Color. Names of hexadecimal values of colors. Color hash e e e e e e e. Values of colors. Color teal. Font family, name of the font or any variant. Font family Arial, comma impact, comma serif. Font family sans serif. Font size, x large, larger, large, medium, small, smaller, x small, xx small, length in percentage. Font size large, font size 10 points, font size 25%. Font, italic, bold, normal, small. Font bold. Font style normal italic oblique. Font style italic. Font weight lighter normal bolder number. Font weight lighter. Font weight 80. Letter spacing normal length. Letter spacing 12. Letter spacing normal. Text align left, right, center justify. Text decoration none underline overline line through blink. Text decoration overline. Text transform, none capitalize lowercase, text transform lowercase, word spacing normal length, word spacing 25. HTML head style H1 curved brackets, color colon hash 0000AA semicolon, font family colon impact semicolon, font size XS large semicolon, letter spacing 3, Word spacing 5 semicolon, text aligned right. Curved brackets closed. Hash P-A-R-A-L. Curved brackets, color hash 0000AA semicolon. Font family Arial, font size large. Text decoration overline, text transform capitalize. Curved brackets closed. Slash style, slash head. Body H1 CSS is great fun added to HTML, slash H1. PID is parallel. CSS can be applied to a particular tag by identifying its ID. Slash P. P style is equal to color. Colon hash 55 cc 55 semicolon. Font family colon Arial semicolon. Font size large semicolon. Font colon bold and quotation marks. CSS can also be applied using inline styling on a particular piece of content on the web page slash p slash body slash html text display display behavior of the text is defined